six, <clears throat> we're going to do the annual sales forecast for Healthy Hut. Uh, again, they want you to open up a spreadsheet. They want you to name it 2.6, which I've done. And then the first thing after that, they want you to key in the data of the spreadsheet as shown in figure 2.6. So you're going to type out this. Um, I'll do that. All right. I got all that stuff typed out. Let's go back to the direction and see what we need to do. Merge A1 through E1 and format the text in a newly merged cell to size 14, make it bold and center aligned. So A1 through E1, we're going to merge. We're going to make it centered, bold, and size 14. Next step, merge A2 through E2, and they want us to do the same thing. So A2 through E2, merge it. Make it centered, bold, and size 14. All right. Resize the width of columns A through E to 125. So I'm going to select A, B, C, D. Right click, resize columns, change it to 125. Hit OK. All right. Moving on. Right align columns B through E. So B, C, D. In E, we're going to write a line. Number eight, format row four and five as bold. So four and five, make those bold. Okay, number 10. Oh, format column B so the decimals, there are no decimals. So column B. So column B, there's no decimals. So I'm good to go. All right. Number 10. In B13, key in the formula and use the sum function to calculate the total sales for the year. So B13. I'm going to put equals the sum. Left parenthesis. And I'm going to add, highlight those. And there's my total for the year. All right, in cell C6, key the formula to calculate the 15% growth. And this is the formula we're going to put in right here. So we're going to put in B or C6, we're going to put equals 15% times is a little asterisk button. And then we're going to say B6. And we're going to hit enter. All right, once we have that, we're going to autofill. So I'll click back in there, put your cursor on there. We're going to autofill that down. So every one of these cells is 15% of this cell in front of it. All right. In cell D6, key in the formula to calculate the sales next year. So what we're going to do is we're going to add B6 plus C6. So we're going to put equals B6 plus C6. We're going to hit enter. And then again, when we're done with that, we're going to auto fill. So I click there, put my cursor on that little square, auto fill it straight down. All right, moving on. Um, in cell E, use the absolute key reference to key the formula. So in this one, they're going to be um, dollar signs. Where B13 is, we're going to put dollar signs. So we're going to put equals B6 divided by dollar sign B dollar sign 13. Divided by. So Hit enter. All right. And then we're going to autofill that down. Okay. So these are going to end up being percentages. So after we autofill, format column C and D as numbers to playing zero decimals. So C and D. We don't want any decimals. So that's taking on all the decimals. 
column in cell E3, we did that. Auto filled that. Form out column E as percentages with two decimals. So we highlight it, hit the percent sign, and it has two decimals, so we're, we're good to go with that. All right, use autofill to copy formulas in B13 across row 13 to E. So we click here, we autofill that across. It should also be a percentage. All right, so that's what it should look like when we're done. says you have to reformat cell E13 as a percentage with two decimal places, which I just did. All right, add a border around cells A4 through E13. So A4 through E13, they want us to add a border around them. All right. Number 21, format, um, display the formulas of your spreadsheet. Okay, those are all my formulas. So I have a formula in column C, D, and E, and also column or uh, formulas in row um, 13. So um, make sure you've done all this. Check it over. If you have any questions, that's what it should look like. We're going to go back to the regular numbers, and that's it. Let us know if you have any questions.